Hello. Hello. And welcome to the vlog. So for today's video, we're going to be making a, a sloth cake. Because to be honest with you, right, I, the sloth thing, I, <laughs> over the years I've been compared to Sid the sloth in both personality and looks. And one time I put it as my display pic on Instagram and then it went to YouTube and then it became this thing. Didn't even mean for it to happen. And now I just think forever, please don't sue me, I say, I feel like I'm going to get sued. And I just, I'm just an innocent, innocent gal who was in a Sid Sloth obsession now, okay? It wasn't intentional. I can take it down if you want to. Genuinely live in fear that that's going to happen. But what can you do? Anyway. We're making a sloth cake because why the heck not? Some days you need to make a sloth cake. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to set Hi. two different recipes and I'm going to be sticking them on here because the other day I had an incident, a bad, bad incident where the cake mix fell on my laptop and I don't want cake mix on my laptop nor on my phone. So I think practically, practically speaking, here, right? Do the chocolate one or the vanilla. And to be honest with you, I've been a little bit obsessed with chocolate lately, so I'm thinking chocolate. Let's do chocolate, because why are the dickens not? Always use masking tape. You don't want food on your phone off. When I was younger, and I did my drama GCSE, whenever I got a script, I would sellotape it to the outside of the shower, page by page, so I could learn the lines in the shower. Fun fact. I also have some pictures of sloth cakes that I found online that we can... <clears throat> wow, clearly the printer was just not vibing today. Got to go and get the, get the ingredients. Uh, got them in the cupboard though. I wish I could do TikTok dances. It's just not in my blood. I just can't dance. Do, 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 do. This is actually really good because normally when I bake, I like hunch over looking at the recipe in there. But up here, I have to. It's like a workout. Choose your fighter. Uh, sugar. Now, do I double this or will it be enough? Thinking we don't double it and we just we just pray and hope for the best. Let's not double it. Let's make a tiny. Are we going to regret that? Should we make a tiny slot? I think we need to double it. I'm going to double it. I've made the executive decision. This might be a bad idea, but I'm doubling it. Welcome to the baking show. I saw that video the other day, and you guys were like, "Oh my gosh." You have a thousand and one things in your head and how can you cover so many topics in short, like just a short space of time? This is what I mean when I say I have so many things going on in my head. My head is literally just full of thoughts and they're not even... The reason I talk so much is because if I don't talk about them, they'll just stay in my head. When I talk about them, then they get out. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if I don't talk about them, then they just stay in my head and my brain is like full of pointless information. So if I get rid of the pointless information, then I can hold on to more useful information. First, whisk together. Don't think I've got a jug big enough. We're just gonna pop it in here. Ah, why have I done this? Oh well, we pushed through. Can't have any regrets because that would just be wrong to regret things, you know what I mean? Because you can't change your actions. You've done it, so onwards and upwards. Why have I doubled this? Don't tell me why I doubled this. I hate pouring milk because it just splats up at you. Serious regrets. Can't have any regrets because I do just want to preface, preface, preface this video by saying I suck at decorating. At uni, it was the thing that I just really didn't do well at. Like, give me a product development task, I'll be there. If you tell me to decorate a fancy cake, nah, mate, <laughs> that ain't happening. Vanilla! And then we whisk it together. Wet ingredients. We're gonna need a fat bowl for this. I don't know how this is gonna work. How are you guys? What's occurring in your life? I feel like, oh, another thing the other day. So, oh, no, it's not worth it. Not worth it, Grace. Serious regrets. This is gonna be so much cake. It's gonna get everywhere. I don't think I've ever regretted something as much. I don't regret things because you can't do anything about it. Too deep in now, Grace. You're just gonna have to grin and bear it, okay? Stop it. Stop. Pull yourself together. It's just cake. That is a mountain. Why have I done this? Gradually whisk the wet ingredients into the dry. This isn't just isn't gonna work. Why do I always forget to put an apron on? I swear it's my biggest downfall. Swear down if you if you're about to do me dirty like that, I'm not I will not let you in my house again. Now we've got an easier, more incorporated mixture. 
I've somehow got to try and mix the both together because otherwise it won't have an even amount of everything. Should have just weighed out half exactly, but apparently my brain was not thinking. To be fair, it's a lovely, glossy, thick cake mixture. We've gotten through. See, sometimes life is hard, but if you push through, you get to the other side. This is my dream made up. This is where it could all go peak tom. We have one tray bake. We did it after lots of turmoil. We got there and now we bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Please do your thing and be good. Don't be naughty. Be good, okay? And be the best cake you could ever be. Do not under any circumstances, let me down. That was tiresome. I mean, see up here, I'm making it icing, but it's just too much to film it. I'm too in the zone. So, uh, but the bleeper has just gone off. So I, I feel like it's not quite ready. I don't want to open it and then the cake collapse. I'm going to give it five more minutes. It looks like it's going to snow. Shut up. I'm not even joking. I tell you I have an intuition when it snows and it looks like it's going to snow. I'm not even joking. I have a sense. It's going to snow, I swear. That is snowy sky. But it's not a forecast. As last year, if you saw, I bought a sledge, right? Because it said there was going to be like loads of heavy snow. And then it didn't snow. But I bought this sledge and that is a snowy, snowy sky. Okay, you can't really tell. It was frosty and everything. Right? Dibs, I swear. You'll see in this vlog, it's going to snow. It didn't snow and I'm really sad about it. When is it going to snow? I have a massive sledge that is ready to be utilised. I just want it to snow. I just need snow in my life. This is what I mean about our oven being a challenging oven. If anyone wants to donate an oven that works <laughs> to the boots, I'm joking. But, uh, so this one, this guy is done. And the skewer came out clean. The other one, which is exactly the same, literally raw. Fine. Okay, both cakes are out, looking groovy, icing is done, and I've just done some little chocolate details, don't judge it, okay? I put a little flake of almond in, because I'm thinking they can be like pants, I've done them the same, it's not going to work, I need to do another one. Okay, it says once it's cooled, flip it onto a cooling rack. Oh, it smells good. We have a chocolate cake, okay. Fantastic. It's so good. Mm. It's quite good. I should have left it in the tin. The main concern is taste, so I don't care what it looks like, alright? Okay, we're gonna leave the other one in the tin to completely cool. There's another cat in the garden. Oh yeah, you run, little kitty. Banksy will come for you. <laughs> the worst has happened. It's basically gonna have to be arm, arm. No, leg, leg, arm, arm. The other cake has apparently cooled, so maybe we'll also check if it's better if you've left it in the pan to like do its thing. Okay. Don't you dare crack. Hold yourself together, all right? Okay, maybe it is just I shouldn't have taken out when it was still hot. But it just seems weird because then it goes a bit sweaty. Now I can make a template of the cake. Okay, I've learned my lesson to leave it in the tin because that is staying together as that one isn't. Which is annoying, but we learn from our mistakes. This cake is big old learning curve. I'm gonna cut out the arms and mm -hmm. arms and legs cut out. And now we've got to do the big boy body and head. So I'm just gonna level this cake off first. I have a feeling this is going to look so ugly. Sometimes the most wonderful things are ugly. Mm. Tastes good. <gasps> We've got it! Oh my gosh! Look at it, it's so beautiful! Here we have a wild sloth body. We're going to do a white face. Now, these colours aren't going to exactly be the same as a sloth, but you've got to work with what you've got. I was going to do a crumb coat, but I don't have enough icing for that. So we're not going to do a crumb coat. I'm going to put our little eyes on. Just the postman, but look at these eyes. How fantastic. And then we've got the nose and a tiny little smile. <laughs> I love it. And then for the fingernails, I'm going to use cashews because I just feel like a cashew is an, a nail type of texture. I don't know um, my piping nozzle. I don't have those like grassy piping nozzles because I said I don't really decorate. 
I'm already like a decorating queen. It's fine, as you can see from this mess. So we're just gonna hope for the best. We're just gonna go round and round and pipe little furry squiggles. I was gonna do like white colored and make it a bit more sloth-like, because sloths are kind of gray. But I was like, I don't, I don't really like coloring. I just wanna go straight for it, you know what I mean? This is my favorite bit when it pops out, there it is. Okay, this is fun, okay, oh my gosh. It doesn't really look like fur though. Wait, do they have colored bellies? I don't think they do. I really miss the show, My Super Sweet 16. I feel like that's the sort of show that would be on Netflix these days, but. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I can't wait to have kids to make their birthday cakes because I just think kids' birthday cakes are the most wonderful thing. My mum used to make the best birthday cakes in history. That woman, honestly, she's such a legend. She was so creative with it and they didn't have Pinterest back then so you couldn't be like, hmm, some inspo from Pinterest. It was completely her own brain. Oh, he's thinking so far. I kind of love him. It looks like it was a three-year-old that made him. I've actually got cramp in my arm from all that piping. I'm gonna give him little cashew finger claws. You know, if you want a proper cake tutorial, go on to like Yolanda's How to Cake It. <laughs> Why do I love it so much? Oh my gosh, I love it. I really didn't think I would actually be able to achieve anything that slightly resembled a sloth. But here it is. I'm gonna have to show you properly. Look at him. I probably should have cleaned the board up first. Look at this, little claw. Claw toenails, claw hands. We just lost a claw. Up you get. Come on, pull yourself together. Um, Probably would have been better with a better piping nozzle. It's still fantastic. I love it, quite frankly. We already know the cake tastes good, the icing tastes good. Me and Boris, the roaring success. Um, I love him. And, oh, his toenails fallen off. Get back in there, you little cheeky minx. Get back in there, stop falling around. I'm gonna give this to my mum to take to her work and I think they're gonna be like, Who's four year old is having a birthday party? No, her 22 year old daughter made it. Um, here it is, a vegan sloth cake. Living the best life that you possibly can. Because I think those flaked almonds really add a certain je ne sais quoi. I love you. You rock my world. The more I look at it, the more tragic it is. So the fingernails make him look a little bit like Wolverine. 